guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creation. So glad you're here. Well, wouldn't you know, it starts raining as soon as I <laughs> go to film. So I, hopefully you can hear me. And I, I apologize. Some people were saying that my last video, you couldn't hear me. You can only hear the music. And I'll, I'll make, um, I'm mindful of that. And uh, I know iMovies changed some stuff. So anyhow, we are going to work on a 10 by 10 cradled wood panel. I'm not sure where I got it. And we're going to, we're not necessarily going to spin it up, but we're going to do a galaxy core. It just, sometimes it helps to have this as your turn, like to do the, the centers, you can turn it like that. So I'm here with my friend Angel. My name's Angel. Hey, she's going to be helping me out at the Fluid Art Boutique. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can go to fluidartboutique.com. We have an early bird special that ends September 10th. Oh my God, it's almost over. You want to get in before the price goes up. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to do a, a galaxy core. I was so inspired by Sarah Mack's recent one. And um, this is going to, I'm going to do a demo for Angel and then she's going to go ahead and do one. It's good to have white in between some of the colors. And this one is, has um, a little bit of, it's a, um, a pearl, not a pearl, a cloud mix, and the clouds, they turn out so pretty. So Angel's gonna be my helper. She's gonna be flipping the rooms for me. This is the Vallejo Pearl Mix. It's just Vallejo um, iridescent pearl medium with Floetrol. And we're going to put just a tiny bit in the bottom, not a lot. There we go. The more paint you put in the in the middle, the bigger your center will be. So you don't really want your center to be huge. So you want to really control it. This is Hebio Iridescent Precious Gold. So next I am going to put, this is Pebio Iridescent Blue Violet. No, yeah, I think it is Blue Violet. It's not blue, it's pink. And we're gonna put a little bit of Titanium Buff. That's Liquitex. Then we're gonna put some of this beautiful, now there's a lot of bubbles in here because we just mixed them up, so we're gonna have to torch the crap out of it. So that was uh, do, 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 Amsterdam turquoise, turquoise blue. So next to that, we're gonna put a little bit more of the, we haven't put purple in yet. If we put purple in right now, it's gonna make like a lavender, which that's okay, let's do that. Looks pretty so far. Mm -hmm. So 10 by 10, I'm gonna put a little gold over the purple. Usually, it just turns out nice. Usually you don't wanna mix yellows with um, purples, because you'll end up getting mud, but it makes like a copper color when it's gold, so it's kinda of cool. And we're gonna put some of the titanium buff next to the gold. Decent. And then, gold and then yeah so you do kind of a lot of layers yeah this will make like a grain and then more of the pearl mix pearl i keep saying pearl because <laughs> i do pearls all the time it's really a cloud mix okay and then now for a 10 by 10, this is a nine ounce cup. We're not gonna need too much more paint. Let me put that buff right next to here. Let's see what that does. See, paint pouring is always a crapshoot. You never know what you're gonna get. So what I'm gonna do, and we have tape at the back. Won't be able to hear me. <laughs> I might have to put this to uh, music.
tweezers. And I'm gonna fish around for that. Because I know it's in there because it's hanging this up. Can't find it. All right, and we can take a toothpick. and then just straighten that line out. Now we're gonna wanna, I don't know if we're gonna wanna, oh my Lanta, look at that, holy cow. That's beautiful. We might wanna just spin this out, guys. Let me check for more. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spin it out, but I'm gonna have to, torch the vegetas out of it. That is so pretty in the center. Oh my God. We want to let it sit and develop anyways. So we might put you on fast forward here, but here we go with the, uh... see all those bubbles coming up? Is that what the torching does? It, it brings, yeah, it, it pops the bubbles. Now, technically we want to wait a, maybe a day, at least four or five hours before we do before we pour after we have mixed the paint but I have a meeting at 3 3 30 so we're just going to do it now it's kind of cool because it's got like yeah. multicolored bubbles they're not cells they're, those are bubbles but it's kind of cool so basically to do just a straight pour you just want to hold it straight up and just let the paint fall. And that would be a galaxy pour. This is more like a cloud pour, but um, that's fine because I love that center. And if I were tilting this out, I would put a flow extender around the edges and that can be any paint because it's gonna be, <laughs> HOA calls it sacrificial paint. <laughs> I love that, that's so funny. But because, uh, oh my gosh, I, what a great palette. Look at that, it's so pretty. We're gonna spin this baby. Now, we don't wanna to spin too fast or too hard because it'll go flying because there's nothing really holding it. Yeah. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Yeah. There's enough paint on there to cover the canvas, so I'm not worried about that. Although, look at there's a heart. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I'm gonna try and tip and tilt it now because I wanna play with the composition. tilting you want to rock it back and forth to keep the composition and hopefully not get squiggles it could be because I didn't have a flow extender but I'm kind of digging what's happening up here so I'm going to continue and get that one corner of squigglies off And then this will develop and it will change. 
And that's, that's the beauty of using Cloud Mix or Pearl Mix. They change, they don't stay the same. So you never know what you're gonna get, which is cool. It changes colors? Or? It just changes, the composition changes. It, it poofs up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so now Angel's gonna do one based on my what to do and what not to do. <laughs> That uh, iridescent blue violet is beautiful. It's pink. We're not fools, we know our colors. <laughs> so, just tilting it back and forth. And of course, um, Angel, most people wear gloves, I don't. <laughs> I like to feel the paint, I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna take this off, come back in a little while and see how it's changed. I'm gonna move mine out of the way so that Angel can do first. She is quite an angel too. Oh, the other thing you wanna do guys is run your finger along the bottom to get any excess paint off. And while you're doing that, if you see a corner that doesn't, it's not covered, you can cover it at that time. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm moving it over. Let's see here, whoops. Good eye. That angel. Right. See, I always say I'm done and I'm, I'm not done. No. Okay, that's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. It's your turn. Ah! I'm nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. You know what? One thing with food art, you can always pour over. Yeah. You can always pour over. Whoa, okay. So this is the white. Let me get you a new, new fresh cup. You want to go about halfway up, that'll be about five ounces. That's exactly what you need for a 10 by 10. So the five. white is first? You can. It, it's um, it's up to you. You can actually go dark in the center if you want, or which would mean the purple. I want to try that because you did light, so I'm going to yeah. do dark. You can go really dark. Mm -hmm. Do two colors of dark, then some of the, the cloud mix. So, so there we go. Mm -hmm. Those actually look really good together. All right, so you can put a fair amount in there. I would pour it on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I have to tilt it? Mm. It's up to you. It's It causes less bubbles. Mm-hmm. Holy humidity. It's hot, yeah. Holy humidity. <laughs> we, just, we have now entered the sauna. It's no longer the studio. It's the sauna. <laughs> Is this enough? That is enough. Yeah, perfect. And then put it. Now make sure, you, yeah, you pour along the side because otherwise it'll be a dirty cup, which means it'll blend into each other. Which is another that is another technique. You can do a dirty cup. She's going to end up with a masterpiece. I know it. Is this good? Okay, that's good. White. Now you want to put a little bit of white, just a little because it's pretty powerful stuff. And that white will look really nice next to the um, turquoise. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, I would, it's up to you. you. This is your painting. I would, um, yeah, there we go. Pink? Yep, that'll make it a really nice light, light, light pink. Okay. And then you can do, that would be good. All in the same place, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Making sure my head doesn't get in the oh. camera. <laughs> my head gets in it all the time. Ask them. <laughs> okay. Uh, white again or gold? I would go gold and then maybe white. Gold and white look really nice next to each other. Lot of really dark center so yeah. we're getting towards the end 
so these colors might just go right off. Yeah. Um, so I think we're good. Yeah. Well, maybe a couple more. See what's happening with the white? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I would think? do, it's up to you. The pink would be nice next to it. Okay. Yeah, the pink and purple. Should I do more white? You can. Just to kind of balance the dark. Uh -huh. This is her first um, pour ever. Yeah. First. Okay, that's good. Okay, so. We got some white on the. Do you want gloves? No, I'm gonna just get dirty. Okay. <laughs> so I usually pour from out of here, but you can pour from out of here. It's either or, it doesn't matter. And actually I have poured from the sides at times and it's different. So I'm gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of tight and white in the center. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's thick. Is that okay? That's probably what's holding it up. What we just did, we did a, um, we did a test, a drip test, and it worked fine. Okay, so now, do you want to pour from here? I might do the side pour. <gasps> wow, you're raw. Let's Is do that. Is that going to be okay? No, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Okay, so you said you started up and then yeah. went down? Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Do you want to twist it for you? You want to yeah. twist it yourself? That's perfect. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I like it from the side. What should I do? Go down? Uh huh. Yeah. Do I move it? You can move it. You can bring it back up. Oh, she's doing a traveling, traveling pour. Which, this is one technique I cannot get. Look at how it's turning like a coral color. Jamie created that, does these, and she has the most beautiful artwork. And I, for some reason, I cannot get it. That is, look at. Yeah. This is like requiring so much focus. Uh-huh. This is the pour that I have been trying for about five months to do, and I can't do it. Really? And she's she's getting it right away. I think I'll just go all the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what she does? She does like a little circle here, a little circle there. It's up to you though. You got a lot of purple coming out towards the end. This is really cool. I like that she went by the side. Is this enough? I would pour some on the edges. Uh, how, like right here? Yep. Mm -hmm. like, there, that edge. <laughs> there we go. She can, you can do a little, um, there you go. Maybe this edge? Yep. Got lots of purple here. Mm -hmm. You like purple? Yes. It's hot. It is hot. We might have to take a break. <laughs> Hopefully it comes out okay. I'm sure it will. See what happened with the gold and the pink? Isn't that beautiful? It's like a coral color. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Might have to tilt this baby out. I know. Is that good enough? That's really good, honey. <laughs> that is really good. So, this girl I have never met before. <laughs> who's a friend? Who's uh, the niece of a friend? Comes into my house and does the pour that I have not been able to do for six <laughs> months. Look how beautiful that is. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm tilting it for you, but I, should, I probably shouldn't be, but... It's helping. Ah! 
I don't know if we want to spin that. I, want to, I, I don't know if we can. Do we have any more paint left? Yeah. You can fill in the edges and then we can spin it. You got most of your clouds on the outside too. You can, you know, go ahead. So you can do another center if you want, but that center is killer. She's a natural. <laughs> Angel has been doing artwork for quite a while, but she's never done paint pouring. And she fits in back here, <laughs> just like I always do. I'm a perfectionist, so this is like almost just letting it do whatever it wants. Exactly, letting go, letting go. Yeah, you might be able to spin this out. Do you want to spin it or do you want to tilt? You tilting is hard. It's for your first time. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I mean, you can do it if people have done. You think spinning will make it better? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. That is God is good. bowling today. <laughs> That's what my parents used to say. Oh, we got a strike. <laughs> All right. Um, oh God. Okay, we do need, you just, this is already set on high, it's already open, you just need to um, press it. Go ahead. From how far? Like yeah, right that's, here? Oh, and that one's the one that, oh geez Louise, I got another one. I saw one right, is this one it? Oh. Yeah, that one's it too. Don't stay in one spot too long. Okay. Just uh. Just to get the bubbles out, pop the bubbles. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles too that are coming up and soon. Because you can burn the paint. Yeah. If you have varnish in the paint, that's that's even worse. Okay, um, maybe there's a little bit in the center. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Go ahead. There we go. So a little piece of dust. I All didn't right. even notice that. Nice. Okay, so this is the point. Now, if you tilt it, you can actually use this to tilt it. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you put your thumbs down like that. Or you can spin it. Um, but if you spin it, spin it light. What do you feel like? I'll spin it. Some incredible lacing going on in the center. That's what it's called, lacing. lacing. Mm -hmm. These are clouds. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed. I'm surprised this came out uh -huh. kind of decent. <laughs> you can go the other way if you want. Mm -hmm. Stop it, go the other way. Her first pour ever. Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's coming off here. It's not centered anymore. If you want it centered, that's fine. If you don't want it centered, you want it off center, that's fine too. If you want to take this off because you don't like them or whatever, you can do that. You can tilt it. You have so many options right now. And I just confused the hell out of you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see. You're a good teacher, though. Aw, thank you. Hear that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I am so impressed. Look at you. Oh, girl. Now, if you tilt it too high, it'll run like the devil. Yeah. It's better to tilt it slower on these. Okay. When you're doing pearl pours, on the other hand, we do vertical tilts, where we're literally 
there's that too. You're fine. Now you have to make sure you get enough paint off um, to make sure that it dries properly. I am so impressed. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I know. Just make sure actually that you get your, your sides covered. They look like pretty good. But you don't have to use that. You can always use paint from this side. That is freaking awesome. Oh, Jamie, I'm like embarrassed. I, I, <laughs> I can't do this. And I have somebody come in who's, it's her first pour ever, and she's she's got it. I like these here too. This is good. Look at that. Yeah. Um, you know, here, this is a test. This is a test of the American broadcasting system. <laughs> what I do is I take a, um, a toothpick and I go right into the center mm -hmm. and see how far. That probably will dry well. No. You still have, yeah. you might want to pull that off a little bit. Oh, I love the colors. I love how you poured it too. Different. Yeah, you might want to just tilt it this way. There we go. Slowly. And yeah, see how the paint will move. It will move. And take some of that off so at least it's covered. It's perfectly legal to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it in the center. Okay, yeah, move it, move it back then. And that's that's just it. You can do that. Perfect. All right, so this is going to develop as well. Um, I'm gonna. Can I can I help you with your corners? Yeah, of course. Are your corners and sides. That side's like really empty. Mm -hmm. uh, I just grab paint that has fallen off and just go like that. Just touch, touch, touch. Oh, pretty. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> thank you for showing me. Oh my gosh, thank you for. I'm like so grateful this girl is going to be helping me at the Food <laughs> Art Boutique. It is. October 7th, 8th, I'm sorry, October 8th through the 10th. Classes are still available. I know Molly has one that's sold out, so gotta grab one when you can, guys. All right. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is her awesome. first pour ever. All right, I'm gonna give it another torch. Okay. You can, that's okay. Thank you. Look at this. So pretty. So she did a cloud pour, but reversed it. She put the clouds on the outside, which I really like. Very cool. It's dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's dying, it needs more juice. That's okay, it's good. Oh, okay. We're going to go and um, go into AC for a while. We'll be back and um, we'll check this out in about 30 minutes to see how it's developed. Bye, guys.